As Ukraine begins its ninth month of fighting, the South becomes the main focus of Kyiv's forces. The loss of Kherson would be a major embarrassment to Putin. I need heroes who last month declared it one of four Ukrainian regions annexed to Russia. It would also shatter Russian hopes of taking Mykolaiv and Odessa to cut off Ukraine's access to the Black Sea. But last week, Russia's newly appointed commander in Ukraine said the region was proving quite difficult for Russia. Kherson is Russia's only foothold on the west side of the Dnipro River, and for Russia, sending fresh troops and supplies to the city has become increasingly perilous. With Ukrainian forces since August using the U.S.-supplied HIMARS rocket system to attack the main bridge to Kherson. Russia continues to use makeshift pontoon bridges to get across, but those two come under attack as Ukraine's army steadily advances south, retaking villages on the outskirts of the city. But the head of Ukrainian intelligence told a national news outlet Monday that Russia is creating the illusion they're leaving Kherson, but in fact... They're moving military units there. Just last week, President Zelensky advanced another theory. Russia plans to retreat and then unleash catastrophe. We have information that Russian terrorists mined the dam and units of the Kakova electrical plant, Zelensky said. Detonating them would result in nearly 5 billion gallons of water inundating the region. And then he said Russia would blame Ukraine. Fight? Flee, flood, Kherson's fate could soon be decided, as Western military analysts predict Ukraine will try to retake the city before winter, just weeks away. Ukrainians in Kherson have been told to leave immediately, and they're being offered free travel and housing in other Russian-controlled areas or inside Russia itself. The Russian-installed leadership claims its enemy plans to shell the city to win it back. Ukrainian officials say that's untrue and are still trying to figure out what the real motive is for the evacuation. Andrew?